In today's video, we're working on the 71 plate T6.1 and installing the Alpine sub and DSP amp. Good morning guys, I hope you're all keeping well. Um, so today, first job of the week is a pretty decent looking VW T6.1. Uh, it's a 71 plate, it's a JL conversion um, and it's, it's a really, really nice looking bit of kit um this fan has already got the alpine spc 106t 6.1 which you can see the tweeters just over there so it's got the six and a half centimeter speakers in the door the upgraded tweeters it's got the factory discover nav virtual cockpit and all the exciting gubbins that goes with that so um this chap has driven down to us to do the next stage of this um you may have seen the previous video where we've done the sub and the amp into a t6 but it had a kenwood head unit um so we thought that rather than doing another in-depth video of like the jurings and all this sort of stuff we're just going to keep it really super simple do the before as in now, show you it installed um, under the, the seat, just to give you an idea of what it's like on a T6.1, it's quite cool. Um, and then just a very quick run through of the audio again, just so that you can get an idea. So um, it's the this one is the SPC-D84A T6. So it's compatible with the T6 and T6.1. Goes in the seat base. Um, either driver or passenger, Rich is going to decide which one in a moment uh, once he sees what's underneath there based on the conversion. Now, this kit is pretty much the same as the last one. The only difference is that it's the non-Dash R version um, because this one is specific to vehicles that have got a factory head unit installed. So that's the one, the DSP amplifier is all set up for these particular head units. So what we'll do is we'll get cracking. Um, we'll drop back once the... Uh, sub is in the seat and before the seat goes on just so that you can see it um when it's in and then uh, we'll go from there right so just before richard starts putting everything back together uh subwoofer amplifier is mounted all in nice and neatly down here sub here amp there we've because there were some additional electronics going on here from the conversion we've had to sort of uh repack it slightly different uh, and you can see those modules down here all nice and neat um but i've asked rich to leave it as it is to show you the level of work that's involved with this one so all of this is out um so that richard can basically just get access to the main brain of the vehicle of the infotainment unit which is just here so center contour out all the lower dash trims out um just so that we can integrate into the head unit and do those if you've seen the last video about this the speaker plug that we have to connect into into the drive down here just to be able to get that t harness in so rich has done all of that wiring from down there all the way down through and into the subwoofer and just to quickly roll around to the front the reason why uh, we've, we have to have here is because we have to get our power connections and take them down and through and through to the cockpit of the vehicle so that it can power the sub and all that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get it all put back nice and neatly together, seat back in, trim all back together so that it's all ready to hand over. And then what we'll do is we'll try and play a few tracks again just to uh, see if we can get any of that sound across to you guys uh, on the video. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, right. So the workshop lights are off just because I wanted to show you something that we've also been doing at the same time as this Alpine upgrade, which is something that's uh, it's been quite popular across the T6.1 range, and that is the, the genuine Volkswagen-approved aftermarket accessory when it comes to the interior lighting. So just quickly, there you go. Looking all nice and neat and tidy and lovely. Let's turn those off and then back on again oh it's still gonna bong it its way anyway just wanted to show you that i thought it looked pretty cool um so we'll crack on with the rest of the video now in regards to what we've done so we'll get richard to pop the lights back on there we go so um subwoofer has gone in under the driver's seat as mentioned um i'm going to jump in very quickly just remember that I need a USB-C adapter to plug in my USB stick. So uh, I'll go grab that and we'll jump back. Right, now armed with a USB-C adapter, jumped in the car, fired it all up, ready to go. So this is a track that we've used in the past um, from Epidemic, just so that we can play some music. And again, I always have to say we're on YouTube. 
the sound is compressed it's not going to sound as good as what it would do when you're actually in the vehicle um so just just please bear that in mind um it's just to give you an idea of hopefully that you might be able to hear some of the bass response in the vehicle um and then just something that i want to add it's really important because you've now got a dsp amplifiers that when you're in your audio settings is you let the dsp do everything so ideally your equalizer needs to be as flat as possible so all the zeros whatever system you're running whether it's genuine aftermarket or anything like that it just needs to be the flat line so that the signal coming out is the cleanest possible going to the dsp and then it's coming up to the speakers so as mentioned earlier um it's already got the spc 106 t61s in we've added in the under seat subwoofer and the amplifier so let's get cracking i've, I've got the song ready to go at a good point i think and uh yeah i've let it run for about 30 seconds and uh, we'll see how we feel. Hopefully that gave you a bit of an idea of how it all sounds and feels and, and linked with the SPC series. It does really give that overall really nice bit of clarity on the sound, that warmth and bass response from the new underseat subwoofer and together the new um, Alpine Adventure Audio sounds and works really well inside this T6.1. Um, so yeah, as I said, underseat subwoofer, DSP amplifier, SPC series, um, factory head unit navigation, virtual cockpit, all of the joys and the wonders that trans, uh, Volkswagen have offered at the moment. What? So if you've got a vehicle, oh, let's cancel that. So if you've got a Volkswagen T6 or a T6.1 with either the um, aftermarket uh, head unit or a genuine head unit, it's more likely in a T6.1 that you've got genuine at the moment because there are no kits. Otherwise, um, then we can do this for you, both in terms of the speakers, in terms of the, uh, the the door speakers and the tweeters, and now the underseat subwoofer. I hope you do find these videos enjoyable. Um, we do enjoy videoing them and putting them up online and stuff like that. And the views and the, the comments and stuff like that is always really good that we, we get from you guys. As always, thanks for watching. Um, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We've got lots of transporter, especially T6, T6.1 content coming over the next few weeks and months. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.